and whenever I'm near something I will do like this and if I am here if I aim too low I will back up my weapon if I low high enough I can still aim Okay, I'm back at a small break. Okay, so next thing to do, uh, we want our geometry to block our gun in first person perspective. Because right now, if we go into first person with this gun and we go next to an obstacle like this, our gun and hand simply clips through no matter what we do. So we want to change this beha behavior. So first of all, uh, we're going to go into hand overlay uh, state and we're going to do everything in overlay because this solution will be a bit different for every gun we do but we can also make a subgraph or certain functions that could be used between graphs but uh, for this I, I just want to do it internally in here so first of all for sure we want to have a new state for our hand cannon walking ground state uh, we ignore sprint, so from default we go into blocked. Okay, so we got blocked, that goes two ways, and in blocked, what we're going to do is do sprint uh, hand cannon. Okay, it's the hands animation, it's the hands animation, awesome. So we get this one, and let's say that our play rate is point one and now we go here and say to enter this transition in order to do that you need to have certain value which is set blocked okay so if it is blocked then go into it and if it is blocked not then go back to our walking state so let's test it Simplest way to test it, just to set it to true. And now we hit play and we go into first person. We always have this position and we are just slowly moving our hand in this motion. Of course, we can still clip through the terrain, but we're going to fix that as well. Uh, yeah, but this is the pose we want to have. So let's go back here. Let's say that blocked by default is off. And now we have to do a calculation whether we want this block or not. So first of uh, things, we need to cast to character because we need to have access to the mesh. And as a character, we want to get mesh, which is just our character skeletal mesh. And from here, we need to get um, socket, I guess, location and rotation. So location, get socket rotation. And what we want to do, we want to do a sphere uh, collision trace by channel profile or for objects. Let's do for objects. And we don't need multi-sphere, just a single sphere. The start location of this sphere trace will be our virtual bone gun. So this virtual bone is moving with our head, so it will have a proper starting point with aim rotation and this is the start and to calculate the end we want to be this point and from our camera perspective forward certain amount of units right and this amount of units would be different for each weapon because each weapon might have different length so what we want to do is get socket rotation but not of, of vb gun because this will be the socket of the virtual bone so the rotation between the head and uh, uh, the IK gun itself instead what we want to do is to get the rotation of the head bone and now this rotation is a rotator but from a rotator we can get a normalized vector so what we want to do is get forward vector and now this vector we can multiply by a value a float value and that will be the length difference between those two points so let's multiply it by float and let's say that my float, how big is my gun? Let's say uh, not bigger than 40, let's say 35. And now this uh, will be uh, just a 
0, 1 normalized forward vector multiplied by 35. And this we want to apply to our start position. And this way we know our end position. Now for the radius, it depends on the weapons well. So let's say that maybe, I don't know, 6 should be enough. Object type, we should make an array and we want to block word static, obviously, and maybe even word dynamic. And maybe physics body, well, vehicles for sure, destructibles, well, anything except pounds, really. Physics body, mm, yeah. So, okay, so almost everything. And we want to draw this because we want to see our blocks for 0.1 seconds, for example. So now, if we hit something, if we block something, we want to promote this to a variable and well, not like this, we want to just set this. So if we got a block, we want to set it. If we don't, then we don't. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, so this looks like this for now. Let's hit three. And it seems we are tracing upwards. Yeah, exactly upwards. So because of the rotation of the sockets, this will be in bone space rotation. So what we need to do instead of getting the forward vector, which would be normally for uh, any component in word space, but this is socket rotation. So we want to get right vector instead. And now it should be fine. Let's see, let's hit play. Let's hit three and we are tracing forward. Awesome. First person, but we are tracing beneath the gun, right? So what we want to do now is to adjust this trace. What are we can even, uh, what's the index zero one R. Let's copy this ball name. Let's see how it will look if we do it like this. Hit play, three. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's actually, I think, better. So now we trace forward from camera, not from the gun perspective, from the trigger finger. So I think that's the best solution. So we go like this. Okay, we got blocking, basic blocking. But what if we have this? So we clip completely through the wall. We can do two things. One of which is increasing our capsule size, which is also very important for any shooter game. Because right now we're getting out of the capsule all the time. That's really bad. Uh, and this character mm, location uh, transform is just this and this. Yeah, nothing really bad happening here. Um, <laughs> let me think. So just increase the capsule size here. Mm, half size or maybe it should be here or maybe it's radius yeah capsule radius so let's make it 44 now we are chunky boy let's save it and let's play let's see now uh, we can still clip through okay and we want to do one more thing in our uh, base pose here in locomotion in rifle pose we want to go here and for standing we want to go idle so we always go to stop mm. okay because we might want to skip stop if we are in first person, but we might also do an absolutely different graph if we are in first person. Um, okay, let's go back here and let's think about this blocking again. 
So we are here, 45 from the index finger. It looks like this and we have our capsule size. Uh, Mm -hmm. show collision so this is our collision okay okay so we only went stopping we clip for a second and then go back to our proper position so it's not that bad but one might want to do even more adjustments to it okay welcome back after much struggle one of the community members called uh, dragons uh, solved the issue that many people tried to solve uh, in the last day uh, so how to do proper uh, AK uh, backing so the solution I showed you was simply checking if we have trace being blocked and if it is blocked then we go um, then we go into our uh, different animation pose so in here in hand cannon in walking we have this blocked pose which is just a uh, just a bow pose basically uh, with some small ik and now uh, how it looks like in game let me show you So we got this guy and now we got a weapon and if our weapon starts colliding it goes up so the problem was that when it started colliding and got up when it got up it stopped colliding right so it goes down again but then it starts colliding and goes up and it ended up like this so how this is being solved uh, it will be easier if I show you the debug. So let's say for duration of point one. Okay. Okay, we got this sphere. And now when we take our weapon up, we actually get the last position of the weapon before it went up. Okay, so now I can do this and whenever I'm near something I will do like this and if I am here, if I aim too low, I will back up my weapon. If I low high enough, I can still aim. The same goes for this pose. Uh, yeah, so that works a lot better. And we still can run animations. And we can go straight into ADS. Yeah. Okay, so how this IK is being calculated? We are taking our socket location of index uh, 03R, but we can take any other bone that we want to use trace from. Uh, so it can be a virtual bone gun, it can be hand R, it can be uh, any uh, IK, FK or virtual bone, whatever we want. And then from this bone uh, location, we are um, reducing it by our head uh, location. And then we are unrotating vector by our head uh, rotation then uh, what we have is the relation between this bone in this bone's uh, space so head um, location and rotation is zero 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 with rotation zero 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 and now we get a vector that if we apply to the head um, we will get the location of index zero three r then we can add some static values so for example i am um, getting my traces a bit up and a bit uh, forward and a bit to the right so it aligns with the weapon a bit better so 
So this is how I wanted to do it, but I could also use it a bit differently. Let's say that we don't want to use this, but BB gun. So now if I hit play and my trace will be in different locations, so I have to adjust it. Uh, so let's see, I need to put it more up. Oh, but this is at a very strange angle, so it will be actually better to use uh, hmm, maybe hand R. Let's see. Yeah, probably. But let's go back into the bone I had. So it was. Um, Let's use middle tree because the trigger finger it might move, but the middle finger doesn't on the weapon, so it's more reliable. Okay, but now we need to uh, move it, or we can do middle zero one. Okay, we still have to move it. Uh, so this moves it up, so let's make it a bit more up. This moves it, I think, forward, so it stays the same. And this moves it right, so let's make it different. Let's see now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has to be minus five. And this should be better now. Okay, minus four will be better. Okay, so this is for my bone um, setup. Uh, and obviously you would need different traces at different rotations. Uh, or, or besides the, here you have head animation that the head rotation is tilted. So the trace will be tilted as well. Um, but why we are using head rotations that because the head is being moved with our first person perspective so our trace is moving with our head okay let's go back here and then we rotate the vector back after applying this uh, static transform and then we are adding it again to our head and we got back again this spot, except it's modified by this vector. And now we are storing it to be used in the next frame. So our trace has one frame delay uh, actually. And then we are storing one more value, uh, which is just the unrotated vector that we are calculating here calculated here again, but not from our bone perspective, but from our saved uh, point in space perspective. So from here, and we are just storing that. And if we have hit, we are, uh, we need to get our last frame location of our weapon. However, um, we do not want, like when we, when we have the last frame uh, location, we don't want uh, it to be refreshed, so we no longer set our blocking point uh, in the way we did before, but now we are setting our blocking point only based on this blocking point relation that we are storing here. And we're just doing whatever we are doing here. So just rotating vector, applying head uh, transform to it, I mean location, and just setting this point. But we are no longer updating block point relation block point relation stays the same on every frame of blocking, which means that if we now um, get a collision, we'll get the collision of the last frame that we had before this collision. And we can still, of course, play montages, but we'll still go back to this pose no matter what, even after reloading. So that took a while uh, to get this working. So let's now just uh, collapse this. 
um, and say blocking detection and we can do a sequence here and in this blocking detection what we might want is some parameters 8 minus 8 minus 4 um, 8 minus 8 minus 4 and this is relative translation okay then we get the draw debug type um, Let's call it master socket name and let's make it head as default and for this let's do none or you know what for one frame uh, what else do we need oh yeah it's this it's this it's this and now any other settings yeah okay so now if we go here we got those settings that we can set let's just make sure that everything works as it did yes yes oh one more thing we might also want this parameter so uh, trace length and trace size okay compile save so the length default is 40 and size is 5 it's smaller let's make it smaller okay I guess that this has a different um, oh yeah and we can also check trace complex or not so if we do trace complex now here on the ladder yeah we should get a lot more precise yeah but we're not going to use complex we're going to use static geometry so yeah this is how you do uh, blocking of uh, weapons and uh, by the way we can get even one more value that we'll set up in a second